the Palm Beaches guarantees that spark of inspiration. Inspiration to play, to explore, and create. The name conjures up tales of glamour and adventure because storytelling is in the very DNA of the Palm Beaches. Enhancing this narrative is the largest statewide film competition and awards show in the state of Florida, the Palm Beaches Student Showcase of Films. Hillary, Deputy Film Commissioner for the Palm Beach County Film and Television Commission. Welcome to the Palm Beaches Student Showcase of Films Red Carpet Highlight Show. Created to discover fresh new voices in storytelling, the Student Showcase of Films is a gateway to the entertainment industry for Florida student filmmakers. It's an open stage for Florida students to showcase their talents, acknowledge their inspirations, and explore their aspirations. So join me on a magical red carpet ride we call the 23rd Annual Student Showcase of Films. The newly branded Palm Beaches Student Showcase of Films has spread its wings, soaring higher than ever before. Unveiling a colorful video game theme for year 23, student filmmakers, writers, graphic designers, and digital media artists, representing 80 schools from around the state, gathered to celebrate the arts at its finest. They arrived with dreams of trophies, acceptance speeches, but most of all, their passion for film. It, it feels amazing. I've heard so many like amazing things about this festival. It's the best one in Florida, they say, so it's really an honor to be here. Oh, it's a great honor, especially like the biggest Florida festival in Florida. It's absolutely amazing and an honor to be here. Uh, it means a lot because I definitely want to be a filmmaker uh, for a career. So just being here, you know, being around all of these other people who are working towards the same future as me is like really inspiring and I'm just so excited. Hosted at Lynn University's Keith C. and Elaine Johnson Wall Performing Arts Center, the Student Showcase of Films struck the perfect balance of elegance and fun. Guests were greeted with video game entertainment sponsored by the Microsoft Store in Town Center Mall and the Silver Ball Museum in Delray Beach. Lynn's prestigious venue continues to be the ideal location for the student-driven extravaganza. On behalf of President Kevin Ross and the Dean of the College of Communication and Design, I welcome you to the Student Showcase of Films. Not to mention totally gaming the audience was the infinitely energetic award show host, Frank Lacari. The ingenious master of ceremonies was in fine form, opening with a short film teasing us that he may not even show up in the first place. What are you doing? Oh, play a video game. I can see that. Don't you have work to do? On what? Um, the student showcase of films is oh, coming up? That, yeah, I'm not doing it. What? I'm not doing it this year. Well, you do it every year. Not this year. What are you talking about? Nothing. Of course, it was all in good fun. Lakari bounded onto stage dressed as the plucky plumber Mario with his troupe of dancing Koopas, lampooning the hit song Feel It Still by Portugal the Man. During the exhilarating pre-show celebration, all levels of gamer, novice and expert walk the red carpet alongside the stars to honor the up-and-coming architects of filmmaking. Stepping up to the microphone was a member of the mega boy band that created such hits as I Want It That Way, Shape of My Heart and more. Howie D of the Backstreet Boys. I think it's great that they actually acknowledge the talents that are coming out of the, the schools here in Florida. I'm not only a Backstreet Boy, but I'm also a Florida boy, still living in this beautiful state of Florida. Now what most people don't know is that I actually studied TV productions in high school, and I even had the thoughts of going to NYU for film study. Then a little thing came along called the Backstreet Boys that kind of took my life and changed it in a different direction. Following Howie on the red carpet came writer and producer for Sunday Funday Films and a rising star who you may remember from the movie Divergent. 
as the menacing instructor for Dauntless, Chris Hayes. I would say the main thing is that uh, you're blessed with an incredible culture down here uh, and a great perspective in South Florida. You don't need to be in Los Angeles. Give us a warm welcome for Chris Hayes. I just got introduced by Vanilla Ice. Anyone else see that? I, I remember Vanilla Ice as a character in Championship Motocross for the PlayStation. Good times. Anyhow, thank you guys so much for having me here. This is an absolute ton of fun. Really, really appreciate it. A ton of fun blended with emerging talent and star power to prove again there's no business like student showcase business. And what award presenter wouldn't want to be introduced by rap icon and star of the DIY's Vanilla Ice project, Vanilla Ice. And I'm honored to be here and, uh, you know, be a part of it. And this is my community. I live here and uh, there's lots of smiles, lots of good people here and lots of talent in the room. So we want to showcase that for uh, future entertainment, for future entrepreneurs. Yes, the Palm Beaches is a welcoming place where production meets paradise. A caring community eager to inspire a new coalition of bright young filmmakers who are just as eager to succeed. The most important thing that we have in the state of Florida to pitch to the rest of the world is locations, weather, uh, talent, a lot of it coming from the younger generation that's going to continue to grow. And, uh, what kind of society do we have if we don't support the arts? That's the way that I look at it. Uh, it's, it's an important, it's healthy, it's, it invokes your creativity and uh, it, you really can send out a great message to the world. I really admire uh, this organization for um, you know putting such a grant, putting them on display on such a grand scale and giving these awards and celebrating them. When I speak to young people and they ask me, how do I become a success? I tell them, find something you love to do. Find something you'd love to do so much that you do it for free, then get really good at doing it, and then go out and figure out a way to make a living doing it. That's the key to success. This year, over 600 student entries were submitted. Out of those, 253 moved on to our 42 judges. Out of those, we found our top 32 finalists and then revealed the 16 eventual award winners. Impressive numbers, clearly demonstrating that the desire and talent for storytelling is alive and well in Florida schools. I'm so thankful that Palm Beach Film Commission is uh, recognizing students' work because I really believe that we are the generation that is going to be making films that really impact people and I'm so excited that Palm Beach is doing this film, for, this film festival for us. Advocating and encouraging student filmmakers has been the engine driving the student showcase of films since 1995. Over the last two decades, the Student Showcase has attracted a diverse group of celebrity presenters who share this passion to awaken the young giants of storytelling. These beloved film and television stars treasure the opportunity to elevate the talent found within Florida's award-winning educational system. I started out with in show business, who didn't quit, who st stuck to their dream, kept going to school, kept learning their craft, and while they were in, an, in a relentless effort to perfect their craft, they were also learning how the business side of what they did, how to get work. Every person who didn't quit and get married or go sell real estate or do something else has made it. I just want to now say it's a pleasure for me to be here and on behalf of the Palm Beach International Film Festival and the Palm Beach County Film and Television Commission, I'd like to welcome you all to this year's Student Showcase of Films. All you young aspiring actors and stage fans and whatever you want to do in life, I wish I had something kind of like this when I was going through it and uh, I think it's going to inspire the kids a lot and to show them, you know, to award them for their hard work like this and, and, and to support them so strongly. Um, I think it, it can only create positive opportunities and of course, you know, help them expand 
in the film industry and, 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 and hopefully you know, get out there and actually make a name for themselves. Having started at the age of six, I definitely believe that there is never a time too young to start making movies. Well, because then we get to see the up and coming who are going to be the filmmakers of tomorrow uh, and you get to see them blossom. It's great to say I got my start at this film festival and I was seen at this film festival when I was like 18. You know, that's amazing. There is one celebrity that we hold near and dear to our hearts, a legendary actor and director, the number one box office draw for five years in a row, but with a hometown modesty that belied his status as a true superstar of Hollywood. I'm speaking of Florida's favorite son, Mr. Burt Reynolds. Burt Reynolds has long championed student achievement in the Palm Beaches by sharing his time, his wisdom, and his heart, always insisting that he interview each finalist and present his scholarship personally. He put his stamp on the student showcase of films, and his final year with us was no exception. The recipient of the Burt Reynolds Scholarship, Brianna Seberg, from A.W. Dreyfus School of the Arts, said it perfectly for all of us. Mr. Reynolds, the love and support you have given back to the Palm Beach community is truly admirable. The Burt Reynolds Scholarship Committee and his family are dedicated to honoring his legacy by continuing to award his scholarship annually to Palm Beach County seniors, keeping the memory of Mr. Reynolds alive for years to come. Thank you, Mr. Reynolds, for raising the bar and lifting all of us up off the ground and into the stars. We are forever grateful. Another star in the Student Showcase universe has lit up our stage for five years, presenting the Music Video Award. He is the one and only Vanilla Ice. Oh, it's amazing. And you know, this is the showcase for all the talent we have. And there's tons of it here in Palm Beach. I mean, it's flowing. Vanilla Ice's genuine love and support have been so invaluable that the student showcase was thrilled to cement his legacy by renaming the music video award, the Vanilla Ice Music Video Award. Yeah. Chosen by People Magazine as one of the 50 most beautiful people in the world. And to award the Vanilla Ice Music Video Award for the very first time, please welcome our friend, Vanilla, Vanilla Ice! I'm proud to announce the first Vanilla Ice Music Video Award goes to the University of Florida. Until they're back by Matthew Bacuero and Elias Zuak. Anything is possible. It's in your mind. You can all achieve it. I promise you. Ice, ice babies right here. It's vanilla ice. I, I can't believe it. Um, this award is dedicated to the millions of people that dream of coming to this amazing country and risk it all in hopes of a better life for themselves and their families. And we're going to continue to fight for those dreamers because we all have something wonderful to contribute to American history. Thank you. Yet another believer and achiever who has been a staunch advocate for Florida film students is Suzanne Needland, a visionary documentary filmmaker and busy Broadway producer. This remarkable woman has always made the time to judge and co-present the Burt Reynolds Scholarship for nearly two decades. This year, the Student Showcase of Films gave back to her by presenting the first Suzanne L. Needland Documentary Scholarship Award securing her a sacred place in Student Showcase legend. Congratulations to all the finalists. I am truly humbled and honored to present for the very first time the Suzanne L. Needland Documentary Award to Howard W. Blake High School and the film Someday. Filmmakers Maddie Glass, Brianna Flora Smith, and Shane Theobald. Congratulations. The world was abuzz with the 2018 Winter Olympics, but did you know that the Paralympics ended March 18th? 
Some of the world's most powerful and impressive athletes competed in sports like hockey and skiing, proving to the world around them that your limitations can become your greatest assets. Thank you to the Palm Beach Student Showcase of Films for this incredible honor. Someday by Judith Grand Prix Smith. Hey little boy, someday you will rise and shine, use your mind to expand and soar, to do more, jump out the ghetto, quick strong fingers, long linky legs, Reach for the horizon, stretch far and wide, push forward. Dream, visualize, there's more than basketball. Play the game of life, stand back, aim and shoot for the stars. Exercise your brain, sharpen your skills, make school your goal. Aim high, score high, you can do it someday. Suzanne Needlin, Vanilla Ice, and the late Burt Reynolds. All paragons of our industry, masters of their craft, and the best that the Student Showcase of Films brings together in the name of student success. Student success was also embraced by the 42 film and television professionals from around the globe who volunteered to serve as judges. This list includes Emmy-winning TV writer and showrunner Chick Egley, American Idol music director Michael Orland, ESPN filmmaker Billy Corbin, Miami casting giant Ellen Jacoby, wildlife enthusiast from South Africa, James Curry, and Palm Beach Post columnist, Leslie Gray Streeter, just to name a few. But the real stars on this special day weren't the video game characters or the celebrities on the red carpet. It was the student finalists who traveled from every corner of the state, representing schools from Tallahassee to Tampa from Jacksonville to Key West, from Orlando to right here in the Palm Beaches, they came with powerful stories to tell and plenty of raw emotion. And the winner of the No Difference Mental Health Awareness PSA, representing John I. Leonard, high school, depression, buying a Kakisha. I love you guys, thank you so much. And mental health is not a joke. You know, depression, you can't just tell somebody to get over it. It's not that easy. People tell me to get over it. But how could you get over a feeling you can't help but have? Dreading every day you breathe and wake up. Sleeping through the days, hoping you die in your sleep. But what if someone saw the signs and actually cared? What if I got the help and treatment I needed? What if I was told, we're going to get through this, instead of get over it? What if I was finally comfortable to confide in someone? Get them help, and if someone has anxiety, you know, help them. Everyone struggles differently. Thank you, enjoy the rest of your day. This is such an amazing thing to have and have the ability to do. So once again, guys, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for providing me this opportunity. I'm so grateful for it. I will not let you guys down, I promise you that. Ready? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna start it. Hey, buddy. Ready to have some fun? Wow! Nice. What do you think, buddy? Isn't it cool? Wow! You're doing it wrong. You need like 20 pieces of cobble. Alright buddy, I have a surprise for you. Close your eyes. No peeking. Hey. Hey Dad! It's an honor to be here representing not only my school, but also my country, Venezuela. So, thank you very much. Wow, I am so honored to win this award. I just want to thank um, the Palm Beach Film and Television Commission for giving us a platform to tell stories because I really believe that this is the generation that's going to make some changes. And I think that we have some amazing filmmakers here that are going to be the people that spark those changes. From the high school finalists came a riveting tale of a lost girl reflecting upon what her life could have been. A young fisherman stranded on a desert island and a lone survivor of the apocalypse who discovers that she might not be alone after all.
Two roads diverged in yellow wood, and sorry I could not travel both and be one traveler. just beyond words to be up here. Like, I'm so incredibly grateful to the uh, Palm Beach Film and Television Commission for honoring me with this, with this award here. Um, film, for me, is something, it, it's, it's a way of life. It allows me to tap into something and to contribute to a world much greater than myself, and I believe that that's true for um, everybody that participates in any film. In the college feature category, the competition was just as fierce. Finalists included winning films featuring a non-believer from a parallel Earth who sacrifices herself to save her tribe. NFL star Antrell Rolls desired to improve his hometown of Homestead, and a distraught man chasing an alternate reality where his late daughter lived a full life. A seer. A person who speaks to the spirits of our ancestors. Two among us communicate with ancestors, Yimmy Odun and Najee Bloom, the one with the purest offering will take my place. Five NFL draft, the Arizona Cardinals select Antrell Roll. We will fight! We will fight! We can't fight no more! 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 We can't fight no more. Boy, is he fun to watch after an interception. That guy, all right, he, he's something. It's that great cornerback on trail roll. He's a senior. He's a first-round draft pick for sure. Maybe the best corner in the land. You can see from the beginning he was going to be special. You know, if you get in my hands, I feel unstoppable when he get in my hands, but I knew I was taking it all the way over the Trail roll from nearby Homestead doing it again. The roles, I mean, we cannot be denied. We'll never let anyone determine our future. Maybe I'll always have that part of me that can't help but think. That in some world, it could have turned out different. Thank you to all the filmmakers here for continuing to create films which inspire and continue to allow us to see the, wor the world in new and inspiring ways. Thank you. Seeing the world in new and inspiring ways is truly what filmmaking is all about. Finalists, students, teachers, this showcase celebrates you. You move us with your talent and your vision, and we applaud you for having the courage to share your stories. We'd especially like to thank our judges, celebrity presenters, and of course, our sponsors. For more information on the Student Showcase of Films, please visit pbfilm.com or follow us on Facebook and Twitter. On behalf of the Palm Beach County Board of County Commissioners, Channel 20, and the Palm Beach County Film and Television Commission, I'm Michelle Hillary. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you at the movies. So where's my first place? Let's figure it out. What oh! What's your, what's your name? Paul from what school? Lake High School. Lake High School. Call everybody. He's our first game winner, first place winner. Where's he? Where's he? We have a gift. Is a gift out? Did we give you the gift yet? 
So he gets a uh, $100 uh, gift card to the Microsoft Store so you can get more games. Yeah, how cool is that? Uh, you've won a gift card, man. You've now cemented your reputation as the laziest filmmaker in the state of Florida. Congratulations. Way to go. Uh, thank you, everybody, for coming to the 23rd Annual Palm Beach International Film Festival Student Showcase of Films Award Show. We hope you had a blast. Game over, everybody. Thank you guys so much.